Hi everybody, welcome to this week's BTS tip. My name is Donna Powell and I'm the General Manager of Shift Speaker Training and this week I'm going to be talking to you about your communication systems within your business. Specifically we're going to be having a look at your external communication. So that's how you communicate with your customers, your suppliers, your JV partners even, or maybe even the tax man who wants to get in contact with you. There's three main ways that you'll do this. One is by mail, people still do send things through the post. Uh, phone and fax, and people want to call you up if they've got questions or you want to be able to call them as well. And email as well, which is for our business probably the main way we receive most of our correspondence in and out of the business is through email. So I'll talk about a bit of what we do and we'll peer behind the curtain. You've got a couple of different options for mail. One is if you've got a physical, a physical office, you can have mail sent there. That's a really easy option. If you don't have a physical office, then you can get mail sent to your home address, but often you don't necessarily want all of your clients and suppliers no knowing where you live. So the third option is to use a registered office. And a registered office is what we use. And a registered office is simply where you pay people a, um, a company a fee and they'll uh, collect your mail on your behalf. And we have registered offices both in Melbourne and in London who receive our mail for us and then forward it on to people in those countries to action. A couple of questions that you might want to ask when you're looking around for a registered office service is how often do they forward the mail to you and do they actually collect it because it will add a time delay on, on you between somebody sending you something and you receiving the mail. So it's good to know that in advance. And also is the office man to receive deliveries because sometimes um, people will send you a delivery and are, are they actually able to sign it or is that something that they only check regularly themselves. So that's good to know in advance before you go and change all of your addresses and have, have mail resent there because it is, if you need to change it regularly it becomes you know, quite time consuming. So asking those questions in advance can really, really help you. The other thing is phone and fax. Now some of these registered offices will um, have phone answering services. They'll actually answer the phone in, in your company's name and take the message. You can have phone, uh, phone calls forwarded direct to your mobile as well. Or you can use an internet based solution. That's what we use. We use internet based solutions where people dial a local number in Australia or in the UK and that goes to voicemail and is then we then receive an email which tells us that we've, we've got a voicemail that we can listen to and then respond to. And we also have faxes come in the same way. They come in scanned uh, direct into our email inbox that we can then, then action. So we don't actually have a physical fax machine. And with the phones we actually also have the ability to be able to turn the phones on live, which we usually do just before an event, so we're able to chat to people then. Now the email is, as I said before, the main point of contact for us. And what's really important for us is that we have one point of contact for people to contact us. And we also have one person who's responsible for that, and that's Andrea, our lovely customer service officer in Australia. And also one point of reply. So we've got one point there where all the information is coming into our business and one point where it's all going out. So we're able to then find things later on and track them back if we need to. So that makes it much easier to do it that way. And the way we do that is we use the info at shiftlifestyle.com email account. As I said, Andrea manages this and she'll reply to most of the emails but she may need to forward some to the appropriate person to deal with and then they will reply from the inbox as well. And we use Google Mail for uh, managing our, our emails and that's really good because there's labels there that are able to um, apply different labels and sort and, and manage and action that in, in quite a good way and archive things. So we've always got a record of everything that's come in and out of the business as well, uh, which is really important to think about. So some final thoughts I'd say on just this quick tip is do your homework and ask lots of questions in advance so that when you do get a system, you get one that works for you and for your customers. Thanks.